So here's my Corvette T56 and uh, NP or New Venture Gear 120 transfer case. This is a Torsen T3. It has a 3367 torque bias when traction is good and it can bias up to uh, 4456 and I believe it can bias even more than that to the rear but the literature is un unclear. So this is the tail housing from a 4L60 or 4L65. You can find that in basically any Chevy pickup uh, that's a small block uh, that's not uh, heavy duty. Uh, the Corvette uh, tail housing uh, that normally mounts to the differential is still on the transmission and what's interesting is that three of the five bolt holes in these do line up exactly so once I clock the transmission uh, and the transfer case correctly it basically lines up to where I can just weld some aluminum plates to hold them together so on the front I removed the uh, Corvette what they call the mid plate, although I'd call it the front plate. And the only modification that's necessary to the transmission itself is that the front shift rail uh, normally goes forward because the transmission is in the back of the car. So you have to cut exactly three inches off the front of the shift lever for it to go into the, or the shift rail, to go into the shift rail receiver in the F body plate, and then the F body bell housing mounts. So this is going to be the drivetrain. Um, it is real straightforward. The reason I picked this is uh, Chevy uses 27 spline input on all of their small block uh, transfer cases that are previous to the 6L80 transmission. And all of the good transmissions from Chevy use 32 spline output shafts uh, or some other number but not not 27 so I opted to use this because it's a direct fit it slides right on everything is correct um, a 4L80 or a 6L80 or the 10L uh, they all have a 32 spline uh, big block older big block style output shaft so the only option is to get that turned down to 27 or to get an adapter made uh, which somebody does make but it has to be wire EDM cut and heat treated so it's about six hundred and fifty dollars for a, a little piece it looks like a socket um, and that's part of what I'm talking about all the little pieces so F body uh, bell housing front plate T56 transmission uh, adapter and transfer case this is fifteen hundred dollars and that's still cheaper than a used F-Body T56. Uh, and the, I talked about the benefits. The Corvette uh, T56 has better synchros and theoretically has stronger gears than an F-Body. I don't know about that last part, but it, it does have different synchros and they are better. Um, so that means that other than shimming the front bearing cups or bearing races uh, you don't have to rebuild a Corvette T56 automatically like you would if you got an F body because if an F body car gets wrecked it's likely that they were not driving the car nice and seeing as how Corvettes uh, are generally driven by a different type of owner than an F body uh, it's likely that they were serviced so it's highly likely that you'll get a better transmission just buying the T56 out of a Corvette than an F-Body. I took this one apart and looked at everything, and there wasn't anything in it that looked like it had to be replaced anytime soon. Uh, the synchros were good. Uh, the shifter rails were good. The pads on the, on the shifter forks were good. Um, so after I weld that together, uh, this is going to be good to go, and I'll start fitting it in the Impreza. So, you can see, when I take the adapter and slide it into place, it fits perfectly. These top two bolt holes and one on the bottom line up exact. 
So, in theory, it could be as easy as getting a piece of pipe made and putting it between these two places and welding it together. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do to start, and then I'm going to add plates uh, on the top, because once this is clocked correctly, I have a flat spot on the top that lines up, and then I have the flat on the bottom that lines up, and then two on this side. So I've got four plates that'll, that'll fit and close everything in and make this structurally set. Uh, after I get this piece all welded together, I am going to build some steel braces like you see on the full-size pickups. Uh, basically pinch tubes that are that are tabbed on the ends to mount to various bolt holes. So I'll do that and I'm going to have a uh, standard location transmission mount and I'm also going to have uh, two mounts that come off of the transfer case to the chassis of the car. So that's how I'm going to make it happen. Thanks for watching.